Wigner's theorem, proved by Eugene Wigner in 1931, is a cornerstone of the mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics. The theorem specifies how physical symmetries such as rotations, translations, and CPT are represented on the Hilbert space of states. According to the theorem, any symmetry transformation of ray space is represented by a linear and unitary or antilinear and antiunitary transformation of Hilbert space. The representation of a symmetry group on Hilbert space is either an ordinary representation or a projective representation. Topic: Rays and ray space. It is a postulate of quantum mechanics that vectors in Hilbert space that are scalar non-zero multiples of each other represent the same pure state. A ray is a set psi underscore equals e i alpha psi alpha element of r does not equal psi element of h display style underline psi equals e caret i alpha psi alpha in math b r empty set n e q psi in math call h and a ray whose vectors have unit norm is called a unit ray if phi element of psi then phi is a representative of psi there is a one to one correspondence between physical pure states and unit rays the space of all rays is called ray space formally if h is a complex hilbert space then let b be the subset b equals psi element of h psi equals 1 display style b equals psi in math call h psi equals 1 of vectors with unit norm if h is finite dimensional with complex dimension n then b has real dimension 2n minus 1 Define a relation on B by psi phi psi equals E I alpha phi alpha element of R Display style psi kong phi left right arrow psi equals e caret i alpha phi quad alpha in math b r. The relation is an equivalence relation on the set B. Unit ray space S is defined as the set of equivalence classes S equals B. Display style s equals b kong. If n is finite, s has real dimension 2 n minus 2, hence complex dimension n minus 1. Equivalently, for these purposes, one may define approximately equals on h by psi approximately equals phi psi equals z phi z element of c 0 display style psi approximately phi left right arrow psi equals z phi quad z in math b c small set minus 0 
where 0 is the set of non-zero complex numbers and set s equals h approximately equals Display style s caret prime equals math call h small set minus empty set approximately. This definition makes it clear that unit ray space is a projective Hilbert space. It is also possible to skip the normalization and take ray space as r equals h. Display style r equals math call h small set minus empty set kong, where is now defined on all of h by the same formula. The real dimension of r is 2 n minus 1 if n is finite. This approach is used in the sequel. The difference between R and S is rather trivial, and passage between the two is effected by multiplication of the rays by a non-zero real number, defined as the ray generated by any representative of the ray multiplied by the real number. Ray space is sometimes awkward to work with. It is, for instance, not a vector space with well-defined linear combinations of rays. But a transformation of a physical system is a transformation of states, hence mathematically a transformation of ray space. In quantum mechanics, a transformation of a physical system gives rise to a bijective unit ray transformation T of unit ray space T S psi underscore H S Psi underscore equals T Psi underscore H Display style T S knee underline psi subset math call H mapsto S knee underline psi equals T underline psi subset math call H. The set of all unit ray transformations is thus the permutation group on S. Not all of these transformations are permissible as symmetry transformations to be described next. A unit ray transformation may be extended to R by means of the multiplication with rayals described above according to T R R T Lambda Psi underscore Lambda T Psi underscore psi underscore element of s lambda element of r Display style T R right arrow R T lambda underline psi equiv lambda T underline psi quad underline psi in S lambda in math B R to keep the notation uniform, call this a ray transformation. This terminological distinction is not made in the literature, but is necessary here since both possibilities are covered while in the literature one possibility is chosen. <laughs> Symmetry transformations Loosely speaking, a symmetry transformation is a change in which nothing happens, or a change of our view that does not change the outcomes of possible experiments. For example, translating a system in a homogeneous environment should have no qualitative effect on the outcomes of experiments made on the system. 
likewise for rotating a system in an isotropic environment. This becomes even clearer when one considers the mathematically equivalent passive transformations, i.e. simply changes of coordinates and let the system be. Usually, the domain and range Hilbert spaces are the same. An exception would be in a non-relativistic theory, the Hilbert space of electron states that is subjected to a charge conjugation transformation. In this case the electron states are mapped to the Hilbert space of positron states and vice versa. To make this precise, introduce the ray product psi underscore phi underscore equals psi phi Display style underline psi c d o t underline phi equals psi phi, where psi phi is the Hilbert space inner product. A surjective ray transformation T R R is called a symmetry transformation if T psi underscore T Phi underscore equals psi underscore phi underscore psi phi element of H Display style t underline psi c d o t t underline phi equals underline psi c d o t underline phi quad for all psi phi in math call h. It can also be defined in terms of unit ray space i e t s s with no other changes. In this case it is sometimes called a Wigner automorphism. It can then be extended to R by means of multiplication by rayals as described earlier. In particular, unit rays are taken to unit rays. The significance of this definition is that transition probabilities are preserved. In particular the Born rule, another postulate of quantum mechanics, will predict the same probabilities in the transformed and untransformed systems p psi phi equals psi phi 2 equals Psi underscore phi underscore two equals T psi underscore T phi underscore two equals Psi Phi two equals P Psi Phi Psi Element of T Psi underscore Phi Element of T Phi underscore display style p psi right arrow phi equals psi phi caret 2 equals underline psi c d o t underline phi caret 2 equals t underline psi c d o t t underline phi caret 2 equals psi phi caret 2 equals p psi right arrow phi quad psi in t underline psi phi in t underline phi 
It is clear from the definitions that this is independent of the representatives of the rays chosen. Topic: <laughs> Symmetry groups. Some facts about symmetry transformations that can be verified using the definition The product of two symmetry transformations, i.e. two symmetry transformations applied in succession, is a symmetry transformation. Any symmetry transformation has an inverse. The identity transformation is a symmetry transformation. Multiplication of symmetry transformations is associative, the set of symmetry transformations thus forms a group, the symmetry group of the system. Some important frequently occurring subgroups in the symmetry group of a system are realizations of the symmetric group with its subgroups. This is important on the exchange of particle labels the Poincaré group. It encodes the fundamental symmetries of spacetime. Internal symmetry groups like SU and SU They describe so-called internal symmetries, like isospin and color charge peculiar to quantum mechanical systems, these groups are also referred to as symmetry groups of the system. Topic. Statement of Wigner's theorem Topic. Preliminaries Some preliminary definitions are needed to state the theorem. A transformation U of Hilbert space is unitary if U psi U phi equals psi phi display style U psi U phi equals psi phi and a transformation is anti-unitary if O psi O phi equals Psi Phi equals Phi Psi Display style a psi a phi equals psi phi carrot asterisk equals phi psi A unitary operator is automatically linear. Likewise an antiunitary transformation is necessarily antilinear. Both variants are real linear and additive. Given a unitary transformation U of Hilbert space, define T psi underscore equals E I alpha psi alpha element of r psi underscore equals e i beta u psi beta element of R display style t underline psi equals e caret i alpha psi alpha in math b r mapsto underline psi equals e caret i beta u psi beta in math b r. This is a symmetry transformation since t psi underscore T Phi underscore equals Psi underscore 
phi underscore equals e i alpha u psi e i beta u phi equals psi phi equals psi underscore phi underscore Display style t underline psi c d o t t underline phi equals underline psi c d o t underline phi equals e caret i alpha u psi e caret i beta u phi equals psi phi equals underline psi c d o t underline phi in the same way an antiunitary transformation of Hilbert space induces a symmetry transformation. One says that a transformation U of Hilbert space is compatible with the transformation T of ray space if for all psi T psi underscore equals E I alpha u psi alpha element of R display style t underline psi equals e caret i alpha u psi alpha in math b R or equivalently u psi element of T psi underscore display style u psi in T underline psi transformations of Hilbert space by either a unitary linear transformation or an anti-unitary antilinear operator are obviously then compatible with the transformations or ray space they induce as described. <laughs> Statement Wigner's theorem states a converse of the above. Wigner's theorem 1931, if H and K are Hilbert spaces and if T psi underscore H psi underscore K Display style t underline psi subset math call h math sto underline psi subset math call k is a symmetry transformation. Then there exists a transformation v h k which is compatible with t and such that v is either unitary or anti-unitary if dim h two. If dim h equals 1 there exists a unitary transformation u, h k and an anti-unitary transformation a, h k, both compatible with t proofs can be found in Wigner 1931, 1959, Bargman 1964, and Weinberg 2002. Anti-unitary and antilinear transformations are less prominent in physics. They are all related to a reversal of the direction of the flow of time. Topic: <laughs> Representations and projective representations. A transformation compatible with a symmetry transformation is not unique. One has the following additive transformations include both linear and antilinear transformations. 
theorem, if U and V are two additive transformations of H onto K, both compatible with the ray transformation T with dim H2, then V equals U E I alpha alpha element of R display style V equals U caret I alpha alpha in math B R the significance of this theorem is that it specifies the degree of uniqueness of the representation on H. On the face of it, one might believe that V H equals U E I alpha H H alpha element of r h element of h wrong unless alpha h equals const Display style v h equals u caret i alpha h h alpha in math b r h in math call h quad text wrong unless alpha h equals text const would be admissible with alpha h does not equal alpha k for h k. Topic. Zero, but this is not the case according to the theorem. If G is a symmetry group in this latter sense of being embedded as a subgroup of the symmetry group of the system acting on ray space, and if F, G, H element of G with F G H, then T F T G equals T H display style T F T G equals T H where the T are ray transformations from the last theorem one has for the compatible representatives U U F U G equals Omega F G U F G equals E I she F G U F G display style U F U G equals Omega F G U F G equals E carrot I she F G U F G where Omega F G is a phase factor the function Omega is called a two cocycle or sure multiplier a map U G G L V satisfying the above relation for some vector space V is called a projective representation or a ray representation. If omega F G equals one, then it is called a representation. One should note that the terminology differs between mathematics and physics. In the linked article, term projective representation has a slightly different meaning, but the term as presented here enters as an ingredient and the mathematics per se is of course the same. 
if the realization of the symmetry group G T G is given in terms of action on the space of unit rays S equals P H, then it is a projective representation G P G L H in the mathematical sense, while its representative on Hilbert space is a projective representation G G L H in the physical sense. Applying the last relation several times to the product FGH and appealing to the known associativity of multiplication of operators on H, one finds omega F G omega F G H equals omega G H omega F G H she F G plus she F G H equals she G H plus she F G H mod two pi display style begin aligned omega F G omega F G H and equals omega G H omega F G H she F G plus she F G H and equals she G H plus she F G H quad operator name mod two pi and aligned thy also satisfy omega g e equals omega e g equals 1 she g e equals she e g equals 0 mod 2 pi omega g g minus 1 equals Omega G minus one G she G G minus one equals she G minus one G equals zero mod two pi display style begin aligned omega G E and equals omega E G equals one she G E and equals she E G equals zero quad operator name mod two pi omega G G carrot minus one and equals omega G carrot minus one G she G G carrot minus one and equals she G carrot minus one G equals zero quad operator name mod two pi end aligned upon redefinition of the phases U G U carrot G equals Ada G U G equals E I Zeta G U G Display style U G Mapsto hat U G equals Ada G U G equals E carrot I Zeta G U G which is allowed by last theorem, one finds Omega carrot G H equals Omega 
G H Ada G Ada H Ada G H minus one she carrot G H equals she G H plus Zeta G plus Zeta H minus Zeta G H mod two pi display style begin aligned hat Omega G H and equals Omega G H Ada G Ada H Ada G H carrot minus one hat she G H and equals she G H plus Plus zeta g plus zeta h zeta g h quad operator name mod two pi end aligned where the hatted quantities are defined by u caret f u caret g equals omega caret f g u caret f g equals E I she carrot F G U carrot F G Display style hat U F hat U G equals hat Omega F G hat U F G equals E carrot I hat she F G hat U F G Topic Utility of phase freedom The following rather technical theorems and many more can be found, with accessible proofs, in Bargman 1954. The freedom of choice of phases can be used to simplify the phase factors. For some groups the phase can be eliminated altogether. Theorem: If G is semisimple and simply connected, then ω, G, H. Topic. One is possible, in the case of the Lorentz group and its subgroup the rotation group so, three, phases can, for projective representations, be chosen such that ω, G, H plus or minus one. For their respective universal covering groups, SL C and spin 3, it is according to the theorem possible to have omega G H equals 1, i.e. they are proper representations. The study of redefinition of phases involves group cohomology. Two functions related as the hatted and non-hatted versions of omega above are said to be cohomologous. They belong to the same second cohomology class, i.e. they are represented by the same element in H2 G. The second cohomology group of G if an element of H2 G contains the trivial function omega equals zero, then it is said to be trivial. The topic can be studied at the level of Lie algebras and Lie algebra cohomology as well, assuming the projective representation GT G is weakly continuous, two relevant theorems can be stated. An immediate consequence of weak continuity is that the identity component is represented by unitary operators. Theorem, Wigner 1939 the phase freedom can be used such that in a some neighborhood of the identity the map GU G is strongly continuous. Theorem Bargman. In a sufficiently small neighborhood of E, the choice omega G1, G2 1 is possible for semisimple Lie groups such as so n, so 3, 1 and affine linear groups, in particular the Poincaré group. 
More precisely, this is exactly the case when the second cohomology group H2 G of the Lie algebra G of G is trivial. Topic. See also. Particle physics and representation theory. Topic Remarks. Equals equals notes. <laughs>